Good morning. This is Jonathan Staples welcoming you to Radio 4. We broadcast on 198 kilohertz, that's 1515 meters on long wave, medium wave in certain areas, and on FM in England, central Scotland, and parts of Northern Ireland. The frequencies are listed in the Radio Times. In five minutes, news briefing, followed by the Farming Week. Now the shipping forecast issued by the Meteorological Office at 0505 on Saturday the 4th of February 1989. There are warnings of gales in Viking, North at Syrah, South at Syrah, Fortis, Cromarty and Jersey, South by East 4, Mist, 1,800 metres, 1,030 falling slowly. And that completes the shipping forecast issued at 0505 today. BBC News Briefing at 6 o'clock on Saturday the 4th of February. Good morning, this is Katrina Young. British Embassy staff in the Afghan capital, Kabul... Hope Seeley was talking to Hilary Elliott. Time now for a look at the weather forecast. Here's Paula Robinson. Good morning. A breezy day, especially in the north, and most regions seeing something in the way of rain. But in the far west, there'll be some rain coming in in the afternoon. Well, that's the weather forecast. Now back to Jonathan Staples. How many times have you heard this on the phone? Hello? No, I'm sorry. Mr Jones is in a meeting at the moment. Can I take a message? There's always a suspicion that Mr Jones is there, really. He's just avoiding you. But you can't tell if someone is lying without challenging them. Or can you? The people who study perception have found that most liars behave in a certain way when they're hiding the truth. But of course most of us aren't trained psychologists and we're pretty bad at spotting the signs. Science Now this afternoon at half past four gives you some clues. In this morning's breakaway we take the astonishingly beautiful railway journey from the ancient city of Cusco to the most famous Inca ruins of Machu Picchu, high in the Peruvian Andes. Breakaway's explorer Martin Roberts also tries his hand at another South American mystery, the secret of the panpipes. Show me how to play them. Okay, un momentito. Let's escala. Okay. No, let's play Okay, yes. No. You play something. Yes. You play. Pipes in South America, one of the sounds you can hear in Breakaway at half past nine. Musical pipes are also the subject of this evening's Saturday feature. In 1598, Queen Elizabeth I sent Thomas Dallam to Constantinople to deliver to the Grand Sultan an organ which Dallam himself had built. It was a magnificent instrument, but to the Sultan a splendid mechanical toy. Lynn Ten Carter adapted the feature from The Diary of Thomas Dallam, and she spoke to Martin Renshaw, who'd restored a similar instrument at Knoll House in Kent. What sort of characteristics has this organ got that compare well with the Dallam organ? Well, the contract actually mentions the stops that the Dallam organ had. They had one open principle, which is exactly what we have here. You're, you can tell that I'm having to blurt my foot. The other wind supply shakes. There was also a unison recorder, which was this rather beautiful sound. An octavo principle, which when added to the unison, gives this rather clean. So when we're listening to this Knoll organ, we are actually hearing the same sound as if we were listening to Dallums. Well, it's the nearest possible thing. Lynn Ten Carter and Martin Renshaw discuss the splendour of a remarkable gift in Dallam's Organ and the Grand Sultan, the Saturday feature at a quarter past ten this evening. It's seven o'clock on Saturday the 4th of February. This is Today on Radio 4 with John Humphreys and Peter Hobday. The headlines. Paraguay's new military ruler has promised democracy. In the far west, there'll be some rain coming in in the afternoon. And that's the forecast. 
That was Paula Robinson. Now here's Jonathan Staples with news of some frivolity on Radio 4. Later in the morning, it's Loose Ends with Ned Sharon. But if you can't wait until 10 o'clock, don't despair. Here's a taste of the treats in store. Listen to Loose Ends this week and you can mambo with Robert Elms, meet one of Phyllis Dixie's old girls, discover a New York detective with Richard Jobson, consider nocturnal emissions with Emma Freud, enjoy or abhor the company of Victor Lewis Smith, and rhapsodize along with Larry Adler and George Gershwin. Preacher at 13, newsboy at 14, busker at 16, Mr. Adler, who is 75 next week, played along with George in the early 30s. And this is what they sounded like. Now, you'd have to pay to hear Larry Adler at the Albert Hall on Thursday, but you can hear him live on Loose Ends today for nothing. And that's at 10 o'clock. Moving on to this evening, there's a new series of Fallen Arches, and Lord Cliffhanger finds himself in a spot of bother. Two million pounds? I owe Long Shaft Bank two million pounds? Uh, a staggering sum, is it not? I don't understand how I could have amassed such colossal debts. Carelessness, Lord Cliffhanger. Extravagance, Lord Cliffhanger. Stupidity, Lord Cliffhanger. And you can meet the careless, extravagant, stupid Lord Cliffhanger of Fallen Arches tonight at 11 o'clock. Finally, we round off the evening with the return of the crew of Star Turk 2. Voyaging around space, it seems, can be a noisy business. Hello? Is that the Noise Abatement Society? Uh, can you speak up, please? I'm a bit deaf. <laughs> Is that the Noise Abatement Society? Uh, yes. Uh, can I help you? Uh, yes, I'd like to complain about the excessive noise coming from the television set at the chip shop next door. Hello? <laughs> I would like to complain about noise from next door's television. Oh, good. But it, it is excessive noise, is it? Because in my experience, a lot of people complain when the noise isn't all that bad. Well, yes, but then you're a bit deaf, aren't you? Hello? <laughs> Star Trek 2, the comedy that boldly goes where no other comedy has gone before. Tonight at half past eleven. But if you're anywhere near Manchester, you can't boldly go where other cars have gone before because until six o'clock on Monday morning, both carriageways of the M63 in Greater Manchester will be completely closed to traffic between Junction 1, that's the Eccles Interchange, and Junction 7, the A56 Chester Road. The reason? Well, as usual, major roadworks. You're listening to Today on Radio 4 with Peter Hobday and John Humphreys. It's 8 o'clock on Saturday the 4th of February. British Embassy staff are expected to fly out of Afghanistan today. Paraguay's new military ruler has promised democracy but said nothing about elections. Mr Kinnock has hit out at the government's fawning supporters in the press and the police have urged the Guardian Angels to go home to America. Today's newsreader news reader is Katrina Young. British embassy staff in the Afghan capital, Kabul, are preparing to fly out of the country. Achieve success in this campaign as well. And Harold Thomas, thank you. And that's it from us. Good morning, have a nice weekend. Today's editors were Roger Fraser and Bud Evans. Studio production was by Andrew Kaspari. The travel information now, starting in Greater Manchester, both carriageways of the M63 will be completely closed to traffic between junctions 1 and 7, the Eccles Interchange and the A56 Chester Road, until 6 o'clock on Monday. Uh, that's in connection with major roadworks. Diversions will be signed, but delays are likely, so allow extra time, especially if you're heading for Manchester International Airport. And lighting maintenance will close one lane in each direction between junction 2 of the M56, that's the A156 interchange, and the Barlow Moor Road junction on the A5103, Princess Parkway, until 3.30 this afternoon. To the west of Edinburgh, only one westbound lane of the A8 will be open this weekend between Ingleston and Ratho. On the A41 Banbury to Bicester Road in Oxfordshire, British Telecom will be using traffic signals near Adderbury until 4.30 today and between 8 and 4.30 tomorrow. Finally in Surrey, manhole cover repairs on the A24 will involve southbound width restrictions on the Dorking Bypass about a quarter of a mile south of the Deep Dean Roundabout until Monday. Now the weather forecast for the United Kingdom until dawn tomorrow. Scotland and Northern Ireland will have sunny periods and blustery showers. 
Most of the showers will be in the north and west. It will be very windy with severe gales in the north. Wales and northern and western England will be rather cloudy with rain at times, mainly in the north at first, but gradually moving southeastwards and clearing away. The southeastern half of England will be dry at first, however, some rain will spread from the northwest this afternoon and then clear away southwards this evening and overnight. It will be mild generally, but especially in the south and east. The outlook for Sunday and Monday rain at times, mostly in the north. BBC News at 9 o'clock on Saturday, the 4th of February. British diplomats are expected to fly out of Kabul today.